Welcome back, eSIM Studios. Got the Galaxy S25 Ultra here. I want to review, this is gonna be a quick app review for a brand new app. It's in beta and it's only available for Samsung Galaxy devices. Now, it's not only available for the entire S25 lineup, S25, S25 uh, Plus, S25 Edge, S25 Ultra, but it's also available for any other flagship Galaxy device. So if you have like a uh, Z Flip 5, it will work. If you have even a S24 FE, it'll work. Um, it's called Gallery Assistant. Now, it's not available. It is a Samsung app. However, it's not available on the Play Store or the Galaxy Store, but you're in luck. I do have the APK for you, but let me get into this and show you exactly what it is and how to use it. So this is the app icon, Gallery Assistant. So it's basically an add-on application for the stock Samsung Gallery app. Now, let's go into the info for it real quick before we review this. I want to show you the permissions, right? So it's basically just going to need permissions for notifications, photos and videos, and that's it, right? So this app's not going to be spying on you. It's basically a add-on, as I mentioned, to the stock Gallery app. And it's going to allow you to do some editing of uh, your content that you shot, right? And we're going to jump into it. So not much else. And as you can tell, that's grayed out because there is no App Store availability. And I will get you the APK. Stick around for the end and I'll tell you how to get that. But let's go ahead and open it up. And this is what you get right when you open it up, right? It's pretty basic, but let's go through the functions that this app does, right? Brand new Samsung application. So you can reduce the size. Um, you can shrink selected images and videos to save storage space. So if you have a... There's nothing worse than trying to send a video, right, uh, through email or through another application and it says file size too big. Well, guess what? you can reduce it in here and then send it, right? You can rotate and flip. So you can rotate 360 degrees or you can flip it from left to right, right to left. Image clipper. So you can essentially clip, uh, it says extract parts of images to save as stickers or separate images. Next up is add a watermark. So this is cool, I've always, I mean, I know there's apps out there, right? But I'm always like, damn, that's cool. Um, every now and then, I'm, I think of adding a watermark to either a picture or a video. I, I don't, but if you want to, it's right here, and it's really cool. We'll get into it, and I'll show you how to do it. Compare images. So compare selected images to choose from favorites or deleted duplicates. Another really neat feature, you can save it as a PDF. How cool is that? Convert selected images into a single PDF for easy sharing or storage. So you can reduce the file size and share that image as a PDF. And it, that's very convenient when you need it. So this app can come in really handy. Last and not least is print, right? Print multiple images and video thumbnails. So real quick, here is the three-dot menu. Reorder options, you can order them to favorite, to least favorite. Permissions, we already got into that. Photos, videos, notifications, yes. About a gallery assistant, and then contact us. So, let's go, so reducing size, right? So I went ahead and selected a picture, and let's do this just to show you. So you can hit the plus sign, and you can go through your content you have here. I don't even remember where I got this from. Here it is. Let's try the, let's go with the new iPhone, right? Let's deselect that and let's select the iPhone. Now, you can select multiple images right here, right? You hit done. And if you want to reduce the size, if you want to reduce the size of all of them, you select all of them. If one file is just too big, you can simply have that selected. And then down here at the bottom, you can choose how big you want that file size to be. And it'll give you, it'll tell you, give you an estimated total down there at the bottom. You can set it to your liking and then simply hit save. It does that rather quick. And it tells you file size reduced and lets you know just how much it reduced. So if you want to rotate and flip, pretty self-explanatory, right? So download, 
let's choose this pixel. Okay. And now down here at the bottom, you can straighten it up. So if it's crooked, you can hit straighten, right? It'll straighten it up, right? If you have a real crooked video uh, uh, image, excuse me, you can rotate it. As you can tell, I'm hitting the rotate and it is rotating. And then you can also hit flip down here at the bottom and it essentially flips it, right? You can see flip, 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 just like that. Now, I'm going to revert because I don't want to make any changes. I'm just showing you as an example. Now, let's go into Image Clipper. So what does this do? Well, it automatically, you know how in your gallery, how if you choose, let's go to this in the gallery. If you choose this right here, this is in the stock Samsung gallery. If you pr long press something on your screen, it'll automatically clip it and you can copy it. You can share it, you can save it as a sticker, and you have more options here. Save as an image, select all, and or edit. You can just save it as, as an image, and then it'll save that. It'll all go ahead and clip it. Well, kind of the same thing here, although it automatically selects images inside here, right? So let's, let's expand it. And as you can tell, the pixels are highlighted. Now, what is that? The Bible or something? Or there's a there's a book of some sort here on the left that I did not want. I just wanted one and or two of those. Well, really one, but it automatically selects. Now, let's go back and choose another photo, right? And let's see if it automatically selects another photo. So let's choose the OnePlus Image Clipper. Yeah, it automatically selects them. As you can tell, whoops. All three of those are selected. So if you just want to do one, it might not be the... If you have one subject in this photo, the gallery assistant might be uh, um, ideal. But if you have multiple items like this, do this in the standard Samsung Galaxy application, uh, a gallery application, because, again, just long press, it selects it, and then it selects that individual item, right? And you can choose what you want to do with it. But let's go back here. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now, if you want to add a watermark. So I've always kind of wondered how to do this. And now you have the option. And check out down here, repeat. So once you tag whatever you want. So as you can say, as you can see, it says Galaxy S25 Ultra. That's how it'll look on the bottom of your images. You can choose a model name. You can type in, just to mess with your friends, iPhone 17 Pro, take a real shitty photo and be like, damn, my yo, the iPhone camera sucks. You know, you can mess with people like that. Or you can actually choose your own logo. Now, it says, please select the logo image to be inserted as a watermark. So if you just want to put, uh, let's choose that pixel. What if that pixel was your logo? Actually, you know what? Let's choose my logo. Now, let's choose my app logo. How about that little free promotion there? So that's my application logo. Let's hit done. Boom. What do you know? Right down there, just Jamaica on every single image. And then I guess you can make it bigger down here or you can make it real smaller. Now, you can Can you adjust it? Let's see if you want to do midway color. You can change the style if you type it out. Right, you can change the font and you can change the color. So let's go back here. Let's change the font to Roboto. Now let's do uh, Nato Sheriff and then let's do color. Okay, so it only gives you two options: color, white or black, and then font, either Roboto or Nato Sheriff. So kind of limited, but at least you can change it, right? And now your transparency, you can slide that down and make it barely noticeable, right? Or you can make it very noticeable. And again, you can also do a logo. So if you have your own company, uh, what have you, you can do a logo just like that as well. I'm going to save it to my logo, right? Now, let's go. And then you can save it, save the copies, what have you. Now, let's go to compare images. I haven't used this because I don't need to compare images. So it says compare to, and I only have one selected. So I'm going to go up here to the plus sign. Now let's choose the iPhone. Okay, now compare images. It says this feature supports up to four images. It operates based on the first four images selected only. Okay, no problem. So it'll compare images and I don't really know like, 
I guess you could, if you take four images of the same thing, you're just trying to look for the best shot. This may be the best option or, uh, to choose uh, in the application, but obviously I don't need to really compare these, but you know, if you're, let's just say you're a, taking a picture of a model, right? And, or, or let's do this, your parents, right? At the uh, pier, right? Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco. You're taking a picture of your parents. You can take four photos or however many, but choose four of the four photos. You could throw them in here and you can say, hmm, you know, you can compare and contrast and see which ones look the best and then go from there, right? You can share it. You can save it. And then you can also delete it if you want to as well. Hold up. What was this right up here? I guess that locks it. I don't really know what that does right there. Sorry. Never saw. I just didn't notice that till now. I didn't see it earlier, so I didn't have time to play with it. Now, check this out. So we went down to compare image. Now, save as PDF. How cool is this? Let's get rid of the iPhone. Bye-bye, Apple. And let's save this PDF file as OnePlus 15 because those are the new OnePlus 15s. Whoops. I want to save it, not share it. Well, I was going to share it, but... I want to save it first. Done. Let's, let's try that one more time, right? One plus 15. There's already a file. Okay. Well, I guess it saved it already, but let's just do uh, point 0.1. So we'll hit save, and you can hit preview as well. It'll show you. Let's go back. You can hit save. PDF saved in internal storage. So you can go to your file sharing and go to your file and share it that way or you can go to gmail and then search for that attachment add attachment send it it's another clever way to send uh images with a very small file size so it don't so it doesn't get kicked back by saying oh files too big to attach and all that bs so very cool now print print multiple images and video thumbnails right so it says video thumbnails so Obviously, you're not going to print a video, but let's try this. Is that a thumbnail? Let's try it. Will that work? Oh, boy. Yeah, that'll work. It's just jacked up. And, it, of course, you can change the paper size and, you know, change all that stuff if you want to. But I see exactly what it's trying to do now. Now, what if I don't want to do that? What if I want to do a separate photo? So, let's see. Let's remove that. And let's choose the stupid iPhone again. Let's go down, let's go to print. Boom, that'll print it out just like that. So very cool, nice, neat little feature. Now, if you want this APK, again, it's not available on the Google Play Store. It's not available on the Galaxy App Store. It's only available down below. Go to the description box below this video. I will post the APK for you to download. Don't worry. I scanned it personally, and it's virus-free. Now, this will only work on Galic on Samsung phones. If you try to download this on a Pixel, which I, trust me, uh, earlier today I tested it to see, well, shit, will it work on a Pixel? No, it has to be a Samsung device. It won't work on OnePlus. It won't work on Pixel. Definitely won't, won't work on an iPhone. Just a Samsung device, right? Any Samsung Galaxy device should be fine. Uh, but go to the description box down below, open it up, and you'll see the link for the download APK. Download it and follow the on-screen instructions for installing that APK. You better hurry and install the APK before Google stops APK sideloading, which sucks. But that's a whole other story. But that'll leave it for the day check out the gallery assistant samsung application if you got any questions whatsoever give me a holler I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions i check the comments every single day peace